Colonia or Colon ancient Greek, Kalonia translate. Kalonia, also spelled Kalonia or Kaolin was an ancient city of Magna Graecia on the shore of the Ionian Sea. At some point after the destruction of the city by Rome in 200 BC, the inhabitants moved to a location further inland. There they founded Stilida, which developed into the modern town Stilo. Since 1863 AD the name Kalonia has also been used by the city formerly known as Castelvetere. The city changed its name to Colonia in honor of the ancient city, which was mistakenly believed to have been located in its territory. Today the ruins of the ancient city can be found near Monasteris in the province of Reggio Calabria, Calabria, Italy. Some of the artifacts which have been excavated at the site can now be seen in the Monasteris Archaeological Museum. Geography <laughs> <laughs> The city was located between the mouth of the Stilaro River to the south and the mouth of the Ossi River to the north. In ancient times the mouth of the Ossi was located slightly further to the south. Punta Stilo, the Cape of Columns, is a gentle arc-shaped headland located immediately north of the site. In ancient times the shoreline of Colonia lay 300 meter further seawards. More than 100 fluted columns which have been discovered on the seabed in front of Colonia stood then on a broad arc-shaped headland. This headland probably did not have natural or artificial facilities which could provide protected anchorage for ships. The recession of the coastline started around 400 BC and ended in the 1st century AD. It was the result of a tectonic phase which caused landward rise and submergence of the seafloor. The shoreline stabilized in the period from the 1st century AD to the present. The walls of the city enclosed an area of approximately 35 to 45 hectares 110 acres. History Foundation There is no literary evidence for the foundation date of Colonia, but archaeological evidence shows that it was founded early in the second half of the 7th century BC. Both Strabo and Pausanias mention that the city was founded by Achaean Greek colonists. Pausanias also gives the name of the Ochist, or founder, as Typhon of Aegeum. Others sources such as Pseudosimnus claim that it was founded by Croton. A. J. Graham does not consider these two options to be mutually exclusive because the Ochist and settlers could have been invited by Croton. 6th and 5th centuries BC It has been thought that Colonia was ruled by Croton for some time, but A. J. Graham considers this uncertain. The fact that Colonia minted its own coins in the 6th century BC suggests that it was independent. Also, the claim of Croton over such a long stretch of coast close to its rival Locri would have been risky. According to Thucydides Colonia supplied Athens with timber for ships during the Peloponnesian War 431 BC. The store of timber at Colonia was attacked and burned by forces from Syracuse. Topic. Conquest by Syracuse In 389 BC the city was conquered by Dionysus I of Syracuse, who transplanted its citizens to Syracuse and gave them citizenship and an exemption from taxes for five years. He then leveled the city to the ground and gave its territory to his ally Locri. Apparently it was refounded by Dionysus II of Syracuse several decades later. Dionysus II probably gave control over the city to Locri. Archaeological evidence confirms that the city was deserted for some time in the 4th century BC. Later in the same century, it was permanently inhabited again. <laughs> Roman conquest and abandonment This was not the end of misfortune for the city however, for it was razed two more times. It was destroyed during the Pyrrhic War 280-275 BC and taken by the Campanians, who formed the largest contingent of allies in the army of Rome. In 200 BC the town was completely destroyed by the Romans, when it sided with Hannibal during the Punic Wars. It was probably around this time that the ancient site of Colonia, directly on the Ionian coast, was abandoned in favor of a more protected site inland. About 200 years later when the city is mentioned by Strabo, it is described by him as situated before a valley and deserted. 
Topic: <laughs> Archaeology. The first archaeological excavations were conducted between 1911 and 1913 by Paolo Orsi. The excavation area is named Sajo Sass II and topologically San Marco Nord Est. It is bordered by the Ionian Sea on the east, the Taranto Reggio Calabria Railway on the west, the Asi River on the north, and the Casemate area on the south. In 1969, a mosaic depicting a dragon was discovered in what is now called the House of the Dragon. It was first exhibited in the Museo Nazionale della Magna Gracia, but was restored and transferred to the Monasteris Archaeological Museum in 2012. In 2012, the archaeologist Francesco Cuteri and his team discovered a mosaic floor of 25 square meters. Dating to late 4th century BC, it is one of the largest mosaics from the Hellenistic period found in southern Italy. It was discovered in what is thought to have been a thermal bathhouse. The mosaic is divided into nine polychrome squares and another space with a polychrome rosette at the entrance of the room. It depicts a dragon in its center, comparable to the mosaic discovered in 1969. On the 8th of October 2013, the discovery of a bronze tablet from 5th century BC in the urban sanctuary was announced. The tablet has a dedication of 18 lines written in the Achaean alphabet, the longest Achaean inscription ever discovered in Magna Graecia. Gallery References Sources Further reading External links Official website in Italian Excavations of Colonia by the University of Florence in Italian.